Hello friends, welcome to Truth of Physics. Today in this video, I will discuss on the Kepler's third law. In this video, I will derive or establish the Kepler's third law. So it is very easy to establish Kepler's third law uh, when we consider a, a circular orbit. But when we consider an elliptical orbit, that is an generalization, then uh, it is a, a more difficult work for us to establish the Kepler's third law from a elliptical orbit right so in this video i will derive or i will establish the kepler's third law from uh, elliptical orbit and this will be uh, under the central force okay now we we know that from kepler's second law that da over dt is equals to l by 2m where l is the angular momentum of the body that means uh, suppose we are considering an elliptical orbit that is uh, suppose a planet is revolving around uh, sun okay i am considering the solar system so uh, this will be the case and suppose a planet is revolving okay now for any small uh, instant of time small interval of time the area swept is like this this is the area swept by this planet for a, a small interval of time. Now, so Kepler's second law says us that I am, I am uh, briefly deriving Kepler's second law here, okay. Then I will derive the Kepler's third law. So you can easily uh, connect the two things, okay. So, uh, so area will be half into, area means that is uh, this uh, small triangle, okay. Approximately this is a triangle. So I am... Uh, uh, calculating the uh, area of this triangle so half into r where r is what r is the radius of this triangle uh, that means this is this distance is r and this this is what this is r d theta if we consider this angle theta d theta this angle d theta so this will be r d theta so r into r d theta this will be our area now da over dt that is area swept per unit time what will be that half into r square as r square is constant i am approximately making that r square is constant now r square into d theta over dt now d theta over dt is our theta dot and we know that in central force motion theta dot is equals to l over m r square okay now if we put this here half into r square into l over m r square so this will be cancelled out and the result will be l by 2m so i am writing this here so d a over dt is equals to l over 2m now if we integrate this that means if we want to uh, find the area uh, that is so this will be l over 2m into dt and if we integrate this so what will be this this area will be what the total area i am considering the total area of this ellipse and we know that the area of ellipse is what pi into a b this is the area of an ellipse you can easily uh, prove this also how can you prove i am just smallly briefly uh, explaining that how can you prove that the area of the of an ellipse is this so take a small ellipse okay and make the uh, axes x and y and then you have to do just this integration dx dy integration double integral dx dy then you have to uh, make strip and then you have to double integral this and you you have to only integrate it uh, for only small only one quadrant okay only suppose for this quadrant you are doing this and as for symmetry this is a symmetrical shape so uh, if you calculate dx dy for this this region and then you uh, can uh, multiply it with 4 then you will get the total area of the ellipse so in this way you can get the answer pi a b the area of an ellipse where a is what a is a and b are the semi major and semi minor axes of the ellipse so now so d a will be our pi into a b now you know that in ellipse what is the value of b b is equals to a into root over 1 minus e square where e is what the eccentricity of the ellipse okay so i am uh, putting this value here so pi into a into b pi into a into b that means pi a square root over 1 minus e square is equals to l over 2 m t so 
from here I can write that so I am denoting it with the capital T as this is the time period okay time period of uh, the planet okay for a complete for completing the um, orbit okay now uh, if we uh, whole square the two parts then it will get pi square a to the power 4 1 minus e square is equals to l square over 4 m square t square now we know that e in central force motion e is what this is a formula and i think that you all know this formula e is equals to root over 1 plus 2 l square e by m k square so squaring this i am putting the value of e square here so it will get 1 minus 1 minus 2 l square e over m k square so this will be pi square a to the power 4 into minus 2 l square e over m k square is equals to l square by 4 m square t square now the total energy I think that you also know that the total energy in central force motion is equals to E is equals to minus K over 2A minus K over 2A. So I have to also put the value of E here E this in the in the place of E I have to put minus K by 2A. So what will be that minus K over 2A means this minus will be cancelled out this minus and this minus. So 2L square by MK square E means K over 2A. So 2 will be cancelled out and the K will be cancelled out. So L square by and here is pi square A to the power 4 and this A will be A cube. Now is equals to L square T square over 4 M square and from this M I can cancel out this also and and one more thing l square can be cancelled from both sides so this will be equals to so i am removing this so our from here i can write that from here i am writing this here that uh, the t square will be the t square the square of the time period is equals to 4 pi square m a cube by k so this is the formula of the uh, square of time period for a particle in central force central force motion okay so this is the general formula i can also uh, use it for the uh, inverse square law force i know that you know that what is the value of k we know that f equals to gmm by r square and this gmm g into m into m this is the k so for uh, this uh, kind of force inverse law, uh, square law forces 4 pi square m a cube and i can put the value of k here so k is of g capital m small m so this m will be cancelled out and this is also an another formula this is also and another formula now from this formula as these all things are what are just constants 4 pi square m divided by k all the things are constant here i can write that t square is proportional to a cube this is the kepler's third law and this is established okay this is established now for circular orbits this a turns out to small r that means the radius of that circle so t square is proportional to r, r cube this is the kepler's third law so i think that you have uh, understood the whole concepts which i have discussed in this video so uh, like this video and share this video with your friends and if you are new then subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon for getting the notifications of my upcoming videos so take care of yourself thank you for watching